Hi gamers, and welcome to the next installment of my press kit collection videos. We're up to the PlayStation 3 by now, and uh, the PS3 is by far my biggest uh, press kit collection. I think I have like 25 or 26 kits here, so let's get cracking. Let's start off with a bang. The first Uncharted. Here we have the Chronicles of Sir Francis Drake uh, book. Uh, uh, even though it's just a cardboard box made to look like one, but uh, you do have some uh, first up a quote uh, There must be a beginning of any great matter But the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory And uh, Yeah, we have the contents here of this uh, book But uh, inside we have a secret compartment with uh, all sorts of goodies. Let's see. Well, I think I'm missing the game disc itself. We have here just the press disc, which holds pictures and other press assets. But uh, then we have this little journal. Oh, I don't know, like a scrapbook. And a map. which is uh, suspiciously empty and a letter from Nathan Drake to dear friend and uh, we also have this little uh, um, codex a picture that's ha that has uh, pieces cut out I think if I remember, remember correctly you're supposed to find the correct spot here where uh, where you can uh, can see the correct letters from the uh, openings, but uh, <laughs> I can't remember how this was used. So, <laughs> but yeah, really, really good stuff, all in uh, in good uh, uncharted uh, spirit. Next up, uncharted two. This is a bit of a special uh, package here. Comes in this, uh, I don't even know what, <laughs> between these two uh, uh, blocks or sheets. So here we go. No, it's upside down. You can just make out the Uncharted Among Thieves here. No, again, upside down. So this is actually in English, if you didn't notice. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have got another, another uh, clue here. Here you can use this to uncover the uncharted text. And uh, here we can use, use it to, uh, I don't know, obscure more. <laughs> Doesn't really show anything. There is the release date for the game and some concept art. So not your typical book like there's usually here, but you got got some some of the uh, you know background info for the game and stuff like that. And finally here we have the game review code and media disc. I believe I'm missing uh, this little uh, sash from uh, uh, on top of here. It, this was bound together, but uh, missing that sadly. Then another uh, series that started on the PlayStation 3, uh, Infamous. 
this comes in uh, this little sleeve here and uh, this says that they made uh, 2800 of these and this is number 1147 and uh, this cool foil treatment here got the game code here concept art background on the characters and uh, here we have a big uh, opening here nearly all men can stand adversity if you want to test a man's character give him power Abraham Lincoln and I can't even fit this here but a uh, quite a big poster if you will here in the middle Here is the media disc. Good stuff. Then, Infamous 2. And as you can see, they, they do come in all shapes and sizes. This came in this uh, envelope. This is part of the package. And uh, here inside we have uh, a little pamphlet of New Marais, City Guide. Poster. New Marais uh, City Council Lost Property Office. And there we have the media assets on a disc and the game was uh, downloadable via the code. Then we have this uh, wallet of Cole McGrath and uh, yeah filled with uh, all sorts of little knickknacks. They really went all out here. Got a Bisa <laughs> and uh, even some uh, some old uh, receipts some cash what else do we have Little clippings we yeah, are really really excellent stuff uh, you know I, I I've said this before in these videos but you know you have just to think about you know the amount of uh, work that they put into uh, put into these uh, kits and uh, you know and then they make you know 2,000 of these uh, it's really really crazy still got more here got another poster this one is more oh we got this uh, Obama style coal poster here and uh, slightly more uh, cartoony coal here and some photos yeah, this was uh, this is a uh, reference number so yeah these are all you know, uh, Cole's uh, belongings. Really, really cool stuff. Next up, Kill Zone 2. Comes uh, in this dossier. Welcome to Hellgun. Super thick pages here. Concept art, background info on the uh, you know the lore and the multiplayer. Oh, I just threw away the um, <laughs> how to play instructions. So you got uh, these are just you know photocopies how to play the game. 
and uh, the uh, uh, artwork disc and the game disc. Uh, this disc doesn't work on a regular PS3, you need a, a debug station for that. Then we got some uh, DC characters here. So this is uh, DC Universe Online. Underneath here we have oh, slightly rolled up a uh, small little comic. In this uh, vertical form. I don't know, I don't know anything about comics. Uh, if, if these uh, artists uh, are uh, anything special or if, if this is a, a unique piece of uh, um, you, know, uh, you know, a unique comic that you can't get anywhere else. Put that back. And uh, then we have the uh, game disc. Oh, sorry, this is the asset disc. Oh, <laughs> slightly falling apart, this uh, package here. And on the other side, you got reviewer's guide and uh, voucher codes. So I guess the game here was... Uh, yeah, they, the glue here is starting to... <laughs> I wonder if I got... Yeah. Doesn't age really well this kit. Here's the reviewer's guide. You know what uh, what the reviewer is supposed to get about the game. The developers tell you that. And uh, you have the vouchers here as well. Not sure if that is used. <laughs> PC DVD full game download. You can try it if you want. Here we do have the uh, game disc for the PS3 as well. So that was that. Next we have Sorcery. Got the uh, two discs here, Asset and Game Disc. And uh, what's this? Uh, Place over the notebook to learn how to unlock the Earth Strike spell. Let's see. So, uh, how does this work again? Like this. And uh, here we have. Looks like you should be able to pull that, but you can't. Maybe another glue malfunction. So here we have a notebook, and uh, you know I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to put it like that, or. And uh, some kind of overlay. Very mysterious. And, uh, I don't want to pull too hard, but uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it at that. Put this back here. And uh, that was a sorcery. Then iPad comes in this little uh, carry case for animals. Uh, you have some air holes here so the little guy can breathe and uh, opens up like this and uh, pops up. <laughs> you got the PlayStation Eye camera here and uh, the review code and assets disk. You also have the uh, augmented reality card that you need with the game. Pretty cool little package. Here we have a double feature of Invisimals. 
Invisimals uh, The Alliance for the PlayStation Vita and uh, Invisibles uh, The Lost Kingdom for PlayStation 3. So uh, you have the review code here for the PS3 and uh, you could scratch this to get a download code. This uh, weird felt, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's made to feel like fur, it doesn't really <laughs> feel like fur, but join the hunt. And uh, here we have some uh, Invisimals uh, stickers and uh, some instructions on how to play the game. Get back in there. And then, uh, can't even remember, remember what game this was, but yeah, you can see here really cool packaging. You got some ma <laughs> masking tape here or duct tape. Some pretty creepy photos. A uh, piece of uh, Japanese uh, newspaper. A voucher to download the game. And uh, inside here we got a uh, uh, Siren Blood Curse Media Disc, which uh, looks like it's it has should be here. Just the glue has uh, come out again. So yeah, like a fake uh, base here. So Siren Blood Curse. Next we have fairy tale fights. Uh, a bit of unusually you got the uh, retail disc here inside. Some oversized uh, playing cards. A book with the press disc and uh, some concept art. And uh, I think these are candies, sugar discs made by Sweet Sensations. So yeah, I think these are gone bad by now. And uh, we also have a sealed poster, which I'm not going to be opening up. So that was Fairy Tale Fights. Um, here we have, this should have been in my, I guess, in my first press kit video, in the miscellaneous section. This isn't uh, a PlayStation 3 game uh, per se. Uh, it did come out for the PlayStation 3, but uh, this was, uh, I guess you could say that this is uh, a universal uh, press kit, but I'll just put it here in the PS3 video. Got here a disc says classified black watch and uh, packaged here. Um, the game is of course prototype 2. We got a sticker, a photo, uh, a surgical mask that says prototype 2, uh, an uh, anticipation anxiety gum. We got a t-shirt and uh, a whole bunch of uh, different posters. Let's see if I can show them to you. So these are, uh, you know, warning posters and uh, propaganda type stuff. Quarantine zone, symptom free zone, infected, reported. Danger virus active in this area. Stay alert, security is everybody's, everyone's concern. So, 
I guess we got, got like, oh, I don't know, 10 or even 12 posters here. Pretty nice, uh, nice stack. Yellow zone, military zone. And uh, not sure if there's supposed to be a game disc here. I guess there is, uh, but uh, that has again been lost uh, to time. But still, quite a quite a cool big kit. And then the last of us. Limited edition, this is number 8 out of uh, 2505. Like a broken glass here, but this is just uh, plastic. Little booklet here. Here's the uh, game disc, media assets uh, via um, uh, um, a link here. Let's see what we have here. Looks like it's uh, sealed. No, we can open it. Survival pack DLC code. And uh, here we got a uh, cassette, which uh, really isn't a cassette, just looks like it, but well, it's actually a, a USB uh, drive. Uh, but uh, yeah, The Last of Us uh, OST, so the soundtrack comes on a C cassette, but uh, it's really a USB, so really, really cool. Got some scribblings here, let's see if I can focus there if you want to read it. track listing. So yeah, really really cool stuff here in this uh, The Last of Us press kit. Next something again quite quite special. So here we have SOCOM Special Forces and uh, this is uh, an aqua drop package meaning that uh, you could uh, drop the intel or the uh, you know weapons here and they won't get wet. A lift here to deflate you can inflate here you can you know uh, uh, blow here air and uh, this will puff up like a balloon and float in water. And the contents here, let's see if we can get them out. Nothing too special, just uh, the game disc and uh, asset disc. But uh, hey, comes in a, a watertight package. Pretty cool. Then beyond. This uh, really, really heavy book, or I think the cover is uh, almost as heavy as the book itself. But, uh, got a hardcover book. Beyond two souls. A media edition is uh, they made 2,900 of these, and this is number 1,449. And uh, let's see if we can get this out. So we got a little uh, piece of you know film. Uh, let's see if I can focus.
There we go. <laughs> Put that back. From the creators of Heavy Rain. So, first some, uh, some words from David Cage addressing uh, game journalists uh, directly. He's an artist, you know. So, got some game renders here. No concept art, at least yet. Pretty, pretty cool book and nice, nice pictures here. Got some behind the scenes uh, material here with Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe. And uh, here is the game disc. And then this uh, pretty cool pin made to you know, look like it's rusted and uh, all banged up. Got some uh, tape here on top as well. Caution review code. Here is the review code for uh, Motor Storm Apocalypse. Media assets. The city survival guide. So we got a, a map of the city. On the other side, a poster. Got some uh, important notice here, differences between review and retail code. So, you know, uh, leaderboard and server improvements, uh, improved error handling, party upgrades, GUI updates, memory resource improvements. So, you know, reviewers remember to give this game a better, uh, uh, <laughs> better uh, uh, review. Uh, it does get better than the version you played. So, I don't know, you know, uh, putting something like this uh, in high inside here doesn't really help, but I guess it's better than nothing. Got some postcards. Wish you were here. A sticker that you can put in your car, you know, other side of the window. And uh, beneath here also got this uh, uh, lenticular disc here. this back in the tin then Warhawk soldier's log this uh, nice uh, leather bound book Quite a thick one this is uh, oh, it's not quite full <laughs> So you got some clippings here and drawings. And some empty empty pages as well. And uh, here we have the press disc. Uh, I think there is isn't supposed to be uh, a game disc. This was uh, you know you could uh, download the game. So this, I think this is a complete kit, as it is. And then another tin. This time it's this cylinder. Open up, I'm missing the disc here. To resistance. 
but uh, we do have the other goodies inside here. British Resistance Standard Issue. So you get here some uh, pictures or oh, these uh, postcards. And uh, I know your enemy. Just to give it some scale. And a map here. And an identity card hasn't been uh, filled out yet, so you can put your own name there if you want. And one final envelope here it says confidential, but we're going to open it anyway. Operation Deliverance. So pretty cool. Uh, in universe style info package here. Put these back. And back into the cylinder. Resistance like these uh, tin boxes because here we have the press kit for a resistance tool. Again, this uh, uh, makes it look like it's old and rusted. Barlow biscuits and crackers. And uh, inside here we have a birth registration notice of Henry Douglas Stillman. Some uh, recruiting pamphlets. Main Street Cinema ticket, Attack of the 300 foot monster. And a photograph here. And then a piece of uh, newspaper. Chimera invades USA. Hometown, hometown Gazette. You can't really read. These are, uh, you know, too, too small to read. So I don't think they wrote that much stuff. Missing here the game discs, which is too bad. But still, quite a, quite a cool uh, tin here. And uh, then let's go to uh, Gran Turismo. First up, a Gran Turismo 5 prologue. Got some greetings from uh, Kazunori Yamauchi. And uh, we got some. Uh, I think I, I, I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna be keeping this one sealed, but uh, we have some. Well, maybe we can take a sneak peek here. So, you know, just some uh, renders of, uh, of cars here. But, uh, yeah, this is nice and st uh, sealed here, so let's keep it that way. And uh, then you have the game disc and media information. Resistance box made a mess of my table with uh, actual rust. But then that was the prologue, and uh, here we have Gran Turismo 5. And uh, this is a big one. Can't even fit this. Fit this here. This is uh, uh, 
it's it's a bit of the same than was the signature edition, but uh, slightly different. I'm just gonna open this up. So this is double packaged. Even more. So I got this really cool uh, box here. And uh, inside we have the media information, review code, and uh, a book here. Again, uh, greetings from Kazunori. Just pics of the game, different locations. I gotta say, the smell of this kit is something else. It's, uh, you know, it uh, smells like, I don't know, paint or <laughs> something like that. It, it does have a, a unique smell here <laughs> in my game room now. Fills up the room. So, this little hardcover book. Oh. And we got a keychain as well. Pretty heavy duty. Run Turismo keychain. So uh, on the outside, it does look like the uh, signature edition, but uh, nothing like it on the inside. And uh, yeah, really cool. The uh, almost you know uh, the hood of a car-like uh, finish to the box. Still going, uh, still have a few to go. Next, Sonic Generations. I don't know if this was um, uh, this uh, this was produced in other uh, versions as well, but this uh, has the PlayStation 3 game inside here, so that's why I'm featuring it here. This was uh, five years ago for the 20th uh, anniversary of Sonic. Still unstoppable after 20 years. Got a DVD. Uh, still sealed. A pin badge and uh, a booklet. We'll focus here. Yeah, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and uh, 3DS. So that was, that was for Sonic Generations, and uh, here we have the Sonic 20th Anniversary. The evolution of Sonic. All the games, pretty cool. Pretty cool booklet. Major makers here. And uh, beneath here, if I can just... So you have the promo uh, disc of Sonic Generations beneath here. And uh, as you might have no noticed, here we have this uh, uh, Viewmaster. It's not a real Viewmaster, it's Image 3D here. But uh, if, you're, if you're so uh, young you don't know what this is, uh, you know, you should uh, try one out. This is the original 3D. Uh, goggles and uh, sadly I can't use it here. Show it to you guys here in this video, but you've got some Sonic uh, uh, themed pictures here. Good stuff. Oh, forgot I got one more Gran Turismo here. Gran Turismo 6. 
package opens up like this and uh, we have some goodies inside. Uh, not sure why they put it here like this, but in this lanyard you got the controls. And uh, here are the game disc. This little uh, notebook, or oh, it's uh, yeah, just an empty notebook. And uh, way too big of a poster for me to show here. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, on the other side, it's uh, no, it's, it's on the same side. Well, it's too big. <laughs> and uh, I think we had something more here as well. One million in-game credits. Uh, if somebody wants them, I think these are unredeemed. Not sure if they are still available, but <laughs> go ahead if you are a big uh, Grand Turismo 6 fan. And uh, we also have this huge, huge medal here. Slightly started to tarnish. Yeah, this is one million credits. Yeah, this weighs, weighs a ton. Just gonna put this in. Package them up later. I think we have three items to go. Next. Mod Nation Racers comes in this little uh, black and white uh, cardboard car. You got the little dude inside there, and uh, this opens up uh, like this. You take it apart for easier uh, uh, coloring because inside here you got uh, uh, some felt pens some stickers and uh, basically you're supposed to uh, color up this uh, box here uh, color up with the car and uh, tune up your own uh, driver here with the you know different eyes and uh, color everything up and uh, here we have the pictures uh, uh, picture assets of uh, modernist and racers, racers and uh, the promo disc you also got here uh, for display purposes only, uh, uh, you know, sleeve. If you have an, have a regular PlayStation 3 um, uh, empty case, you can put the game there. Again, something <laughs> totally different. Sony really, really <laughs> is thinking about everything when they uh, make this. Then, one of my personal favorites. Uh, the kit, not the game. <laughs> Eye of Judgment. Uh, here we have, uh, you know, this uh, opens up from two sides at the same time. First you pull up, you got the game disc and uh, acid disc on this side. And uh, your uh, first deck here on, the, on this side. And then they go back inside like this. And beneath here, uh, opening on the other uh, direction, we got two new compartments. Here we have the playing mat and some extra cards and the stand for the camera. And on the other side here you have the camera itself. So uh, this is a really, really cool, cool package and uh, I just love this. It's uh, really heavy and big too. See, I have judgment. And one more. This isn't really a single game, single game, but a collection of games. This is uh, the press kit for PlayStation um, Move. Opens up like this. PlayStation Move. Bring your living room to life this Christmas. And uh, underneath here is uh, the pretty much complete release uh, uh, lineup for PlayStation Move games. And uh, yeah, these come in these uh, uh, 
sort of um, you know not non-retail uh, uh, boxes. You got the game disc here inside this uh, Blu-ray case, but uh, you know no barcodes or anything. So pretty pretty cool set here, and uh, as you can see the. Uh, uh, spines here make up the PlayStation uh, uh, symbols here, so they're perfectly in order here now. Pretty cool set. Um, I guess that was everything for my PlayStation 3 press kits. That's, this was a long video, thanks for watching if you made it this far. And uh, next up I got one more uh, video, press kit video to come, that is the PlayStation 4. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.